Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and we're going to talk about the Suicide Squad kills the Justice League because I'm seeing a lot of people upset and people should be upset. People should have the right to be upset and annoyed with the way they have treated Batman. The fact that Warner Brothers keep doing this with Batman and Superman, two of their most marketable superheroes of all time, is a problem. This notion of we need evil Superman or we need to belittle Batman is getting kind of tiring at this point. We've seen it done to death over and over and over and over again. And now people are fed up. And to add to that frustration, people are fed up with Harley Quinn, which we have every right to. Honestly, I want somebody to animate Punchline shooting a Harley Quinn in the, in the damn head. I, I want the bitch gone. I, I'm sick of her. I'm over Harley Quinn. She has overstayed her welcome. You know, her, the Suicide Squad. Oh, and Deborah Wilson. Look, you were funny in Mad TV. But seeing your, your face in every damn video game is getting goddamn tiring. You can voice characters all you want to. But I'm tired of looking at your ass. I, I really am. Um, all the characters are modeled literally after you. This nonsense is getting out of control with the Western... Um, video game industry is downright disrespectful what you did and before anybody come in comment session be like well the game's called suicide squad killed just Lee. what did you think was gonna happen i get it trust me i get it i know what the damn title is but it's a title no one asks for that's the thing and again there are plenty of stories where just leap was mind controlled and wasn't a and then people who save them didn't have to resort to killing them you know what i'm saying you didn't have to resort to killing them and if you needed to kill a justice league thing why you just didn't make a suicide squad versus injustice at least that would have made more sense you know what i'm saying if you and if you need to do a multiverse thing why you just didn't have it where you know um the crime syndicate has taken over um you know using the events of forever night i mean forever evil where they capture the um the Justice League and put them into the quantum realm from Firestorm. I don't know how they did it. They they were able to do it. You know, put the Justice League out of out of commission and then it was up to Batman um and a few heroes along with uh, a lot of the villains to take on the crime syndicate. You know what I'm saying? That way if you need to kill somebody off, you can kill the crime syndicate in different unique ways like they did in the comic books. That would have made more logical sense. But this notion of, you know, execution style Batman is terrible. And then I know somebody was talking about, well, you know, they announced that um, Batman um, from the Arkhamverse, I mean, well, Kevin Conroy's um, performance as Batman, this isn't going to be the last time we see him because he's going to be doing other projects outside of this um that he recorded before his death and it's just like it doesn't matter the damage is done right now with the arkham batman and i know some people was like well you know you can just pretend like it well it, it exists it exists y'all you y'all use that batman to market the video game um then you had this end credit where lois lane is thanking batman for his hard work and his sacrifice and then you got a whole thank you kevin conroy plaque or whatever so you are using this version of batman the beloved batman to push this video game don't pretend like you're not because nobody would have picked it up probably if it wasn't i mean honestly i think you probably would have got more if it wasn't attached to suicide squad kill just league i mean if it wasn't attached to the arkhamverse at least it, i don't know i'm just disgusted by all of the poor decisions that WB keep making live service games um, and this, this society where we're rooting for the villains over the heroes or trying to say that the heroes are more wrong than the villains. No, that's not how the fuck that works. That's not how the hell that works. Villains are villains. These MFs go out there and torture people all the damn time without a given thought uh, of safety or whatever while you have the villains who rob, steal, cheat, do all kinds of terrible things to people just for their own sick, twisted entertainment because the world was mean to them or whatever. But, you know, you, I don't know. I just find it weird that we're belittling Batman 
And let's even talk about that. The fact that it's Batman. The character that if that character wasn't moving the needle at DC comic books, nothing would. Nothing would. Um, Superman is barely holding on. Wonder Woman is Je Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? Green Lantern, decent. The Flash, yikes, right now. Um, there's no Justice League book. Beast Wars, uh, I don't really care about. Um, Nightwing, mm, another dumb, dumb thing going on there and stuff like that. So, you really don't have, I mean, Green Lantern, I mean, Green Arrow might be good too. But, again, the sales aren't really there like that for this stuff. Um, and to completely bastardize this character in front of us and think that it's supposed to be cute. You damn skippy people are upset. You know, because it's not it's not funny. It's not cute. It shouldn't have even happened like that at all. I don't get why y'all think that it is OK to shit on our classic heroes and then think that we're supposed to be like, yeah, you know what? I should spend money on that. No, that's that's not how this this shit works. Y'all come into these IPs knowing that it has a fan base, knowing that people love these characters, knowing that these characters mean something to somebody. And then you say, you know what would be fun? If we ground them, if we um if we ground them, if we belittle them, if we deconstruct them, break these characters um and molds and let remind people how the villains are misunderstood. Females are better. LGBT is way better than heteronormative, and it's it's getting tiring. Men need these these great legends in their in their lives. You know what I'm saying? These heroes we look up to, and then it's the first time we're seeing the Justice League in the first. And I understand, I understand. You know, WB, you know, might have told them they had to do this or whatever or whatever. But at some point, y'all got to stand up and be like, no. And that's the problem. We got too many chickens. In the entertainment business, that that's video games, Hollywood, all that kind of stuff. Sometimes you got to go out there and do it. You know what I mean? It, it, even if you are losing your job or whatever, and I understand people, families or whatever. But think about this. Why everybody always want to talk about, oh, I have a family feed or whatever. Okay. Would you risk making something that could lose your, your company money where... You did it because you need the money, but now you're out of a job because they have to do layoffs because the game didn't perform well. Did you, did y'all even think about that? You got y'all got to start thinking about this shit. Y'all can't just throw crap out on the wall and see what's gonna stick. Especially when you're charging eighty dollars. Now you want to do a battle pass for what shit that should have been in the game? Game crashed on the first on the first day out. It is it's pathetic. It is definitely pathetic, and I I don't know I I just think it's it's weird that you brought this character back. You didn't have to bring Batman Arkham at all. Arkham Knight was a good follow up from I mean was a good ending. You could have left it alone, and we could have never seen the detractors ever again. You know what I mean? Uh, not the, the why did I say detractors? I meant to say Batman. <laughs> oh Lord, that's what we could have did, but no, we gotta do this dumb shit where you know batman is mind controlled even though you know batman been dealing with so much psychological things in the arkham verse there should have been no way brainiac would have been able to control them or whatever and even then with batman's contingency plans if you read tower of bearable or even watch um the movie you know um batman has plans to stop the justice league non-lethally so you mean tell me none of those plans worked out? Get out of here. Get out of here without all that nonsense. Um, I don't know. I just think that Rocksteady belong in the trash after this. And um, anybody who has any emotions or feelings or whatever, it, it, they're valid. They're valid. Batman means so much to these care to the, to people, and to see him go out like that just for some shits and giggle is kind of pathetic, honestly. And it really shouldn't even have happened. But hey. It is what it is. I am so glad that a lot of people are like saying, hey, no, this is stupid. We don't like what we're seeing with this game. And, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, it deserves every criticism coming this way. And again, if you like it, more power to you. But I'm not spending all that damn money on it. I already saw the entire um, game in action anyway. And it's dog water. It's dog water. It's dookie. 
It is dookie. It should never have been made. Um, Rock City should, you know, remove their name from it, if you ask me. But that's neither here nor there. I just think it's just weird um, game coupling, you know. I don't know. But, yeah, you know, hey. Um, Suicide Squad Kill Justice League. It is having some backlash, and it needs to. But, yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.